What is this on this bed? All these crumbs. Y'all can record everything, but we is going home. This is my baby, y'all. Can I see his face? Huh? Hello? She still said it's gonna take. We had some, I had some food and stuff. Yeah, I know. This is fun. Yeah, all our stuff. Yeah, we can't. Bed. They gotta see you. So yeah, I definitely look a mess. When I get home, I'm definitely gonna take down my hair. Um, I might reveal his face in the second video. Let me know down below if y'all want a story time on how my labor and delivery went. Baby, just looking. Who are you looking at? Looking at your mommy? You looking at your mommy? Yeah. What I definitely want to say, y'all, my baby do not cry unless like he getting his pamper change. But that's like rarely. But I look a mess, but I'm gonna get back to y'all. Okay guys, this is the room tour. I did not show you guys the room tour by itself. So now I'm going to show you guys how my room looked. They have a little closet right here. A trash can that we definitely used came in handy. This was the bathroom that I was in. We had a whole little tub in there. The water is hot and everything. They had that little section for me. And then you could go back in. You got the TV, the doctors, the heads, a couch. It looked out as a bed. You got a little trash thing over here. Some plugs back there. Oh, they could charge their phone. Right here, you got a little closet for your guests. Of course, you need to stay sanitized. Another door, it's another exit. And then this is the guest bathroom. So when I had like visitors, they can use this bathroom instead of using the same bathroom as me. So yeah. Okay, y'all, so right now I'm editing the video and I definitely want to let y'all know what I had to experience in this hospital. I mean, the hospital is not bad. It's really good. The food is good. Everything is good. That's why I decided to go to the hospital. But this is the thing that I did not like. You can... You smelling at your mom? Hey. Okay, y'all. My bad. So, the thing that I did not like is we cannot bring the car seat in the hospital. The car seat already had to be in the car, like, hooked up and everything. So, that was the situation where I had to carry my baby in this next clip. So, if y'all wondering, like, why she ain't put a baby in the car seat? Again... They wanted the car seat to be already prepared for the baby. So when the baby come out and they can look and see if the car seat in the car. So that was the whole thing. Don't come for me. Come for the hospital. I was at Rush Hospital. And that's what I had to experience. So, yeah. What's going on? It's a nice hospital there. The moment. What? Well, I said, yeah, no, you can't burn right now. What well, I'm finna say? I know they was like, when is she finna hurry up? Yeah. I was finna do it. Y'all, we leaving the hospital. Y'all, look at Julie. Can you walk? No. I told him to go to sleep so he can't see nobody's face. I'm just lying. <laughs> no, that's not right. The air feels good. I need, I need to cover his face, right? We got something. You can. I mean. He's going to get buzzed to the real world. What'd you say? That's our first time I said about it. My baby first day outside, y'all. It feels kind of decent, huh? Yeah, this is first time watching cartoons. I want to see his reaction. Oh, look! There's five little ducks. One What's up, my shade babes? Okay, y'all, before this video you start, I definitely want to say to my first time moms, if you're out there and you need questions, I know you ask people a lot of questions, but i'm just giving you guys this advice that everybody pain tolerance is different most people be two centimeters dilated and cannot take the contractions and you know me personally my baby just has to fight me personally i was six centimeters dilated when i went to the hospital and when i got to eight centimeters i couldn't take the pain on my like the pain was undescribable so i had got an epidural 
comment down below if y'all want to know the epidural story because me thinking about it now it was so funny but yeah only why okay this is the reason why i'm recording now um i definitely want to tell y'all that um i couldn't record as much as i could because i was in so much pain and my contractions lasted for like one or two minutes but Yeah. Oh, you so fine. Hey, babe. If y'all want to see how these pictures turned out, go to my Instagram. The link is in the description down below. Hey, son. This is the letter to you when you get older and when you be able to watch this video. I guess I know you can hear yourself in the background right now because you is being you. But I definitely want to tell you that I love you so much. You really changed me. I know people say they child changed them, but you was really a blessing from the heaven and above. I really needed you in my life, and I love you so much. I wasn't gonna vlog this. Hold on, y'all. Oh, she. The life of being a mother. My freaking baby thing coming up. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna get back to y'all. I was not gonna vlog this, but I'm just like, it is what it is, you know. So, baby is in here, I'm waiting, and I don't know how this one is going, but I'm waiting. Yeah, so my baby is gonna get certain sad. Um, I'm very, very sad because it's just like I wish the hospital that I was at, which is rush, they did certain sad, but they don't. You know, that was the bad thing about that hospital. Um, I definitely want to say I've been supposed to go to that hospital, but you know, the rush is a good hospital. Um, my cousin went to Mount Sinai, but I didn't want to go there for numerous reasons. And I think he got. I'm gonna take these covers off from y'all. Oh my god, y'all. Yeah, my baby only cry if he pee, if he's hungry, and that's it. As soon as I get him a bottle, he's quiet. But we waiting in the lobby right now. Tell him to call me. I think me and my OBGYN said they're not going to have me in the back of him. That's why he getting circumcised. That's the good thing about it because I would, I would literally cry. See my baby, you know, cry. Because I did that so. Hey, So y'all, right now it's 10 o'clock. Um, he supposed to get second time at 9.30. Um, you know how they be just rushing me to a appointment. I'm gonna get him like five more minutes and I'm gonna ask him what's going on, you know. Also, I also directed my heart to perform any additional operation or procedure and speech that may become necessary and advice and judgment of the above name provided and not be. I have had the opportunity to discuss the natural and the procedure being recommended by my citizens. The following have been fully explained to me that the nature of the service of this is possible. Oh, y'all. They let me see him first even though she said it don't have nothing to do with the second season. But she just said she don't want the baby to be hungry. And also, after I see him, I definitely got to change him. So I'm just giving y'all an update of what's going on. So, yeah. And also, y'all, I cannot record him get circumcised. I don't think I'm going to be in the room 
But the good thing about it is they is gonna put his like his bottom part on anesthesia. So he's not gonna feel it. He said only time I probably hear him cry is when they hold him down and my baby do not like to be strained. So I'm gonna get back to y'all when the whole procedure is over with. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm feeding him right now. He just got done getting circumcised. Um, I was emotional. I definitely want to say, um, hold on, y'all. Let's go for my way. Dude, just so okay. Okay, y'all, so I definitely want to say, um, I learned a lot of stuff about circumcised. I came ahead and, like, didn't know anything. Okay, y'all, so I know the people that be trying to talk stuff, but don't mind my background. We is currently washing our clothes and our covers and everything else. But um, I definitely want to say after the circumcision, my baby's sleep schedule definitely changed. Um, I was very upset about that, but right now I am trying to get him back on his sleep schedule because I don't know what it was, but he, like, he asleep through the whole day and try to be up at like 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. But comment down below um, and let me know how I can, you know, get my baby to wake up throughout the day because I wake him up at like 1 a 1 p.m. and he had found his way back to sleep and then be up at, you know, 1 a.m. But comment down below some more video ideas that I could do if y'all want to see mommy videos, if y'all want to just see videos of me, vlogs, I don't know, comment down below what y'all want to see and... I love y'all. Stay tuned for the next video.